Salvador. Something I really appreciate about El Salvador is that they are not afraid to invest in themselves. El Salvador actually decapitated a lot of the gangs that had a stranglehold over this nation. And you know, after doing that, the next the next part of the fight is actually doing the job of keeping kids kids out of gangs moving forward. So for that reason, they invest in a lot of their natural parks, sports, as well as building a 24-7 library. We'll actually go and see that a little bit later on, but let's go and see the national, or one of the national parks just now. Here we go. Come back. Thank you. Take care, brother. See, I actually broke from tradition. I took an Uber to come here because it's kind of unclear how to get here by bus. But what the Uber driver told me was that things have gotten a lot better since Bukele has been in power. And that's part of the reason why, for now, they're going to let him have as many terms as he wants. Previously, what he was saying was that if you're from one department, you couldn't go to another department. Department is almost like state, right? You couldn't pass to different sides of the country. You know, you'd have to pay something every time. It's It was ridiculous previously, but now, completely safe. So this park here is actually open maybe until 4 o'clock or 3.30, I'm not too sure. I'm getting conflicting uh, written information here. However, only $3 for foreigners to enter. The locals, $1.50. Can't beat that. This place is actually far more beautiful than the photos online. A lot of trees, you know, the air is pure. The only thing that's corrupting that pure scent is the food that's being cooked. But even that smells really good as well. Kind of reminds me of being in a mountain version of Tulum. Buenas, señor. Hola, buenas. ¿Está bien? Sí, gracias. You know, I'm not sure to what degree this place is natural and what's, you know, man-made. I have no idea. You know, if you guys want to freeze this image and use it for whatever you want, I have no problem with it. But this is a beautiful sight here. I don't know if it's a, it's probably not a natural spring. It's probably like a, a channeled natural spring. Or, I don't know, something of the sort. But it still is beautiful. dope thing about being in a space like this is you get a chance to see how family oriented people are here. It's a refreshing thing to see. You see a similar thing across Latin America. Only thing is previously it was too dangerous in order for you to go out to certain places but you know, due to the new administration or not new anymore but due to the administration things are safer now and people can go and enjoy themselves and enjoy their country for what it is. And new subscribers to the channel. <laughs> she wanted to take a photo with a black foreigner. How many of you would have told her to get the hell out of here? Be honest. No, no. So they are Mica. See, see, see. And just like that, I became mad exotic. It's actually very clear that I'm not. It's very clear that I'm not from here, as per my my look, my parents. I don't have many Afro Salvadorians. The ones that were here were blended into the population. 
So even if they are harder, they don't look like this. Word? Oh, the yeah. people. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. You got all natural water, hot springs. I mean, people here are so much nicer. Mm -hmm. I mean. And tell them how much you paid. I paid $45 to get here. I paid $91 to get home. And you're from? Oakland, California. Did you fly to San Francisco or Oakland? No, Oakland. So you're Oakland. Yeah. Folks, you gotta come you out gotta here. You gotta come out here. I yeah. mean, what's stopping you? Everybody says, oh, it's dangerous. It's da I'd rather come here than Mexico. I'd rather come here than Costa Rica. I mean, I've never been to Nicaragua or uh, Guatemala, but I can't speak on that. Yeah. How's the food? The food, está bien. Muy yeah. bueno. Yeah. <laughs> Pescado, clamados. Uh -huh. And another thing they want to know is how are the chicas? Ooh, the chica is <laughs> muy gordo, but, but if you get flaco like yeah, this one right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. They're not bad, huh? Yeah. But yeah. I'm telling you, you 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 gotta you gotta come out here. It, it's 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 different. It's my first time out here. I questioned it, but now that I'm out here, you know and I don't think I'll go back to Mexico. Let me just put it that way. One important question, will you come back? Of course. I mean, I have I met so many people here, mm -hmm. and the thing about coming here to El Salvador, don't go to El Tunco, don't go to Centro, go to the co local, you know, like mm -hmm. places that you, you don't read about on the phone. Mm -hmm. Go to places that you would never, you know, experience. And you're doing an Airbnb. And Airbnb is the way to go. Same with the family. Yeah, stay, find an Airbnb, shared Airbnb, private room, you know. Right. And the family just, you know, they're taking me everywhere. Yeah. $20, yeah. where do you want to go today? Right, that's that's a beautiful I thing. I mean, brother. life is great here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wish I wish, uh, I wish, wish it was a little bit more, you know, tourist friendly. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that there's not, you know, a lot of tourist activities. Right. There's not a lot of, you know, tra people that are, you know, trans speaking English here. Right. right. And another thing is I wish it wasn't dollars. Right. It's, it's, it's. The, the money system here needs to be, you know, they need yeah. to come up with their own currency. Oh, yeah, something streamlined. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, my G. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate Where it. Are you from? New York. New York? Yeah. How long you See, everybody just chilling, low ass prices. Can't beat it. There are actually a lot of families here right now, but this is an ideal hunting ground for the boys. I would say based on personal experience, they have a slight fetish here, but that's a whole side thing. Let me know if you want me to do a video on that in the future of a more adult nature. Oh. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Tight. Oh, there are a lot of places to eat here, but let's take the bus back to San Salvador. I want to show you a spot. soft door is probably the best thing that you can have. I know people talk about pupusas and how great that is. It is, but the fried chicken here is out of this world. A lot of you guys know Pollo Campero, but you don't know Pollo Campestre because it's only here. It's, it's their local thing. It is amazing. Way better than Campero. I'm sorry. Welcome to the Historic Center. So it's safe to say that we are not in San Benito anymore. We are in the trenches. I'm gonna go to the National Library real quick. Let's go see it. There we go. As you can see here, what they're planning to do is they're planning to turn this entire area um, into something a little bit more beautiful. Public space, if you will. Okay. 
I mean, it's domestic project is great. Let's just hope it doesn't dis displace a lot of individuals. Some of you may ask, why would anybody stand for a dictatorship? Well, one of the reasons is president taking you from the Stone Ages to the future. Okay, the future looks like that. In addition to providing a safe, enriching space for the children of El Salvador, this super modern library will serve as a centerpiece for the new wave of foreign direct investment that will come. Centro Historico is ripe for the taking. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Gotta catch a bus back to the airport. Peace out.